Welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to talk about history of BMW. So before starting, please like this video, and subscribe to our channel for future updates. What's in a name, anyway? For one German automaker, three letters are all that is required for global success. However, success did not come easily for BMW, which faced countless hurdles and failures. It's easy to believe that in the world of BMW, there have been no dark periods or bad judgments because of the company's overwhelming success and top reputation. BMW, on the other hand, has developed to be a leader in providing premium products, premium services, and premium experiences for drivers over the decades, thanks to its enduring fundamental principles of great engineering, quality, and reliability. BMW has earned the title of legend and icon not only through dedication, a commitment to quality, and a desire to deliver what has come to be known as the premium automobile brand in the world but has also maintained that title over the decades, becoming a vehicle that motorists aspire to own and covet every day. Don't be fooled into thinking BMW become a household name quickly. Much trial and error were required to earn today's reputation as a car that epitomizes class, craftsmanship, and luxury. It's crucial to understand how this tale arose, the ups and downs, financial difficulties, slow sales, difficult times, and so on. The actual genius of BMW can be discovered by looking back on its history and acknowledging and appreciating major milestones along the way. Bayerische Flugzeugwerk AG, an aviation engine manufacturer, was founded over a century ago and was renamed six years later to Bayerische Motor and Work, or BMW, three initials that would eventually be associated with the world's top luxury brand. Rapp Motor & Work, founded by Carl Friedrich Rapp in a Munich suburb in 1913, was the forerunner of BMW. Rapp, a well-known engineer for a German aircraft manufacturer, discovered that these engines had issues and were subjected to severe vibration. As a result, Rapp Motor & Work agreed to produce V12 aero engines for aircraft with Austro Damier. The business was a success, and it grew quickly, but Rapp departed in 1916 owing to financial difficulties. Franz Joseph Popp and Max Frizz, two Austrians, took over Rapp Motor & Work at the time. Gustav Otto, another airplane expert, started making little planes in a small factory called Gustav Flugmaschine Fabrik. Rapp Motor & Work and Gustav Flugmaschine Fabrik amalgamated in March 1916 to establish Bayersich Flugzeugwerk. Later, the firm was renamed Bayerische Motor & Work, or BMW, as it is known today. The German automobile manufacturer BMW, headquartered in Munich, was founded on March 1, 1916, with the business producing aircraft engines from 1917 to 1918 and again from 1933 to 1945. BMW's first product was the BMW ILLA, a straight-six airplane engine. Until World War II, BMW's principal products were aircraft engines, motorbikes, and automobiles. Its initial logo, which featured the company's signature blue and white, was designed in 1917. During the war, BMW, against its director Franz Joseph Popp's preferences, focused on aviation engine manufacture, with motorcycles as a sideline, and completely stopped producing automobiles. BMW's surviving West German facilities were forbidden from producing motor vehicles or aircraft after the war since its factories were badly hit during the conflict. How did BMW manage to stay in business? It produced pots, pans, and bicycles, among other things. Believe it or not, this is true. BMW stayed in operation until the conclusion of the war, producing motorcycle engines, farm equipment, home products, and railway brakes. The BMW R32, the company's first motorbike, was produced in 1923. BMW was already establishing a reputation for excellence since this motorcycle achieved a global speed record that was not broken until 1937. Automobiles did not become their business until 1928, with the first car sold as a BMW being a rebadged Dixie known as the BMW 315s. Following BMW's acquisition of the automobile maker Automobilwerk Eisenach, this occurred. BMW was able to construct its first car after the war in 1951, a big saloon vehicle that could comfortably seat up to six people. This car, despite being developed for the luxury market, did not prosper. Instead, it was essential in re-establishing BMW's position as a technological and quality leader. 
In 1952, BMW resumed car production in Bavaria with the BMW 501 Luxury Saloon, and in 1955, it expanded its line of vehicles. Moving into the small car market was not simple for BMW, which struggled to compete effectively against Volkswagen's small, low-cost automobiles. By 1959, the firm was on the edge of bankruptcy and was on the verge of being acquired by rival Daimler-Benz. This is the point in its history when things start to look up. BMW emerged from its financial depression in the same year, with German entrepreneur Herbert Quandt obtaining a majority interest in the company and the introduction of the 700 series, followed by the equally successful and sought-after 1500 models. If it wasn't enough to get the company off the ground, BMW produced a new line of motorcycles that quickly became popular in the United States and remain so. To this day, with the debut of the BMW New Class Compact Sedans in 1962, the automaker's current status as a premier manufacturer of sport-oriented vehicles took root. BMW continued to extend its lineup throughout the 1960s, adding coupe and luxury sedan models to its lineup. In 1968, they introduced 2500, 2800, and American Bavaria sedans, as well as the 2.5 CS and 2800 CS coupes. BMW relocated to its current headquarters in Munich in 1971, a distinctive structure based on a four-cylinder engine. BMW 5 Series midsize sedans were released in 1972, followed by BMW 3 Series luxury coupes in 1976, and BMW 7 Series large luxury sedans in 1978. The BMW M division released its first road car, a mid-engine supercar, in 1978, and the BMW M3 in 1986, continuing their narrative. In the same year, BMW introduced the 750i premium car, which included the company's first V12 engine. BMW's M Group was formed to support the BMW racing program, with all M vehicles being tested and tuned at BMW's Nürburgring facility. The business began manufacturing outside of Germany in 1994, establishing new factories in South Carolina, where the X5 and X6 are being made, Oxford, Goodwood, South Africa, and other locales. The 6 Series was also released that year to suit client demand. BMW had established itself as one of the top vehicle manufacturers by the end of the 20th century, becoming the embodiment of class, quality, and performance. Despite this, BMW suffered another setback when it attempted but failed to achieve market share as a sport utility vehicle manufacturer. They lost $4 billion when they bought the Rover Group in 1994 and sold the Land Rover brand to Ford in 2000. Only the Mini and Rolls-Royce models were kept. The path to success is still open. In 2006, BMW once again blazed the way by developing the first mass-produced turbocharged petrol engine. This was during a period when most engines were transitioning to turbocharging, which lasted for the next decade. BMW engines have always been in high demand throughout the company's history. BMW debuted its first hybrid, the Active Hybrid 7, in 2010, and its first electric vehicle, the BMW i3 City Car, in 2013. BMW released its first front-wheel drive automobile in 2014, the BMW 2 Series Active Tourer Multi-Purpose Vehicle, based on its solid reputation for manufacturing the best sports rear-wheel drive cars, MPV. BMW now exports roughly 50,000 automobiles each year to Japan, the United States, Africa, Australia, and the Middle East. BMW has decades of experience making the best in automobiles with a specific emphasis on performance, style, and technology improvements, in addition to its extensive selection of distinctive coupes, luxury sedans, nimble sports cars, capacious SUVs, and more. Their emblem is an icon in and of itself, and the story behind it is fascinating. While many people believe the logo dates back to their aircraft engine days, this is now widely believed to be fiction. The original history of this iconic logo may be traced back to the July 1917 merger of BMW and Rapp Motors. BMW used the Rapp logo's roundness and letters around the circle, ultimately adding the blue and white checkered colors of the Bavarian flag. It's a logo that's become ingrained in the thoughts and hearts of millions of people. In commemorating BMW's 100th anniversary and appreciating how the company earned its
current image, it's crucial to remember that the company's continued success is due only to its dedication. They have endured and won in the business of producing the world's best automobiles, and their reputation is unblemished. The company not only commemorates and learns from its achievements and history. See what it's like to be born a legend on March 17, 1916. So that's it for today. What do you think of our video? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to hear more from us, please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications before you go. Thank you so much for watching us.